Alice Hawksburg from the Ottawa Citizen reporting for DigitalLounge.ca. I have a very special guest with me today backstage at the Ottawa Folk Festival. It's Paul Langwa, who we know from a very different situation. We know him from the Tragically Hip, one of Canada's top rock and roll acts. Hey Paul, welcome to the Folk Festival. Thanks, Lynn. Yeah. Hi. What, what are you doing here, first of all? I'm going to play some music and uh, it's called, right now it's called Paul Langwa, which is awkward for me and um, so I'll probably discuss that a little bit during the show because uh, I do have a band but they don't really have a name so I was saying we practiced yesterday and I was saying you know I, I would rather it be at least Paul Langlois and the something so we'll probably come up with something uh, down the road but I hadn't really planned on being at the folk festival here uh, there was a last minute cancellation and um, a couple of guys Mark Monahan and uh, for Bree, both worked this festival and, uh, and they asked if I could fill in. I just played a gig a couple of weeks ago in Kingston with the band, so they caught me at a good time. Yeah. Why are you doing solo stuff? What do you get at that that you're not getting from the hip? Well, uh, I mean, I'm very, uh, I feel very lucky uh, to be, you know, in the hip and, and uh, we all still like each other and, and we have a great thing going and, and we all know it. Um, we wouldn't be touring and writing like working uh, as much as we used to. I mean, you know, we still work hard and uh, tour a lot, but we used to just do, you know, 300 plus 300, um, either on the road or in the studio, right? And that kind of thing. So as we've gotten more time, uh, I mean, I think Gord led the way, Gord Downey was doing a solo record and then he did another one and then another one. And, um, I guess I wasn't sort of sitting thinking, oh, I should do one, but I was thinking, you know, there's a lot of songs that I have um, that I hadn't quite finished um, that just didn't feel like they were right for the hip, or maybe they, they sort of, you know, we all, because we all contribute, there's, there's uh, not a pile of room um, for all your stuff. So it's kind of, uh, I had these songs that I thought, well, I should try and finish them. And that's how I made my first record. Um, Fix his head you know, a couple years ago, and um, I was just experimenting in the studio on the odd weekend and attempting to sing. I'd never really done that. I'd done it in a backup sense, but I never really. I guess I didn't know even what I sounded like, um, and I hadn't really finished songs. Like I would have a verse and a chorus, and then I'd just be like, okay, so I have that to get back to years from now. And so yeah, just all of a sudden, I felt like um, I think I have a record here. Put it out. Wasn't going to tour and I didn't promote it because um, I didn't know that I was comfortable sort of playing music and the singer being, being that guy and um, then uh, just a couple of opportunities came up and um, we tried it and Rob uh, Baker, the other guitar player in India, um, was very encouraging and, and sort of listened to my uh, first record before it was a record and um, you know he really liked it and uh, really wanted me to do it and he had lots of ideas you know and he, uh, more than anything, he was like, you know, if you're going to make it good, make it good. Like, do it. And, uh, so anyway, he was a natural choice for guitar player for me, the guitar. So in the he's band. in your band. He's yeah. in the band, yep. And, uh, which is great. He makes me comfortable because this is a bit of a, just a, a different sort of scenario for me. And, so, so you're like a new artist up there. This is, Ish, yeah. Uh, you're a bit nervous. Is, I'm a bit nervous, yeah. Um, fortunately, it's going away. I mean, we're uh, going on, I don't know when, but soon. And, um, no, on the drive up here, I was I was uh, feeling like nervous. But I would get nervous in the hip situation, too. I mean, Nervous is good, but you know when it takes you over, when it begins to take you over, you really need to find a way to um, to sort of battle against it and just keep it down. I'm feeling pretty good now.